we just arrived in Srinagar, which is in Kashmir. This is crazier than any place I've ever been before. We're on a, a lake and we're about to get on a tiny boat to go to a lake house for the night. <laughs> We're going to be spending the next day and a half on Dal Lake and as beautiful as it is, all we want to do is just really get on our bikes and ride into the Himalayas. We're finally at our guide, Bilal's house, just getting the gear packed up, ready to go. So our gear's finally packed, we're sort of ready to go. Balal, I guess, has got a master plan today. I think we're doing about 220k up into the mountains, but we don't really know. Um, but we're ready to go. Okay, this is Balal's dad. Uh, we're just doing a blessing on the bikes before we leave on our trip to the Himalayas. I think it's saffron on coals that are burning. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to finally be on the road. We're heading out of Srinagar and we've already hit some crazy traffic. We stop in a small town and already we're the centre of attention with all the locals coming out to check out our bikes. As we head out of town, we're now heading up into the foothills of the Himalayas. It's great to be on some really good windy roads. We just had a lunch over here. It was pretty late, but we had a good food. So now we are going to go to Sintan Top, which will be amazing. We just reached the top of Sintal Top Pass. It's 13,500 foot. It's a bit misty, a bit cold, so we've got a warm weather gear on. But the ride up here was just awesome. You're good. Coming down off the pass, it's great to be hitting some unmade roads. What you've always got to be aware for is oncoming traffic, as these roads are pretty narrow. Okay, it's the end of day one. We've arrived, it's quarter to eight, it's been pitch black and we've been riding around the, a really steep hairpin bends. We're in Shukru, um, and as you can hear, we're pretty close to the mosque, so I don't think we're gonna need a wake up call tomorrow morning. But we've got a hotel which we've just found, and we've just met the owner who's really nice, and we're gonna stay the night. After the predictable 5 a.m. wake up call, we make a really early start, but it is a beautiful day. Okay, we're at uh, Chitru this morning. Uh, we made it here early this morning. Last night was a different story. This is a small checkpoint behind me, but last night coming in after dark, we hit a major checkpoint with about 10 soldiers, full passport checks, everything, all our details. They want to know exactly where you are. Stamped in, stamped out. It's pretty serious.
Okay, we've just hit Galabo. This is uh, the first of what's supposed to be the most dangerous road in the world. So I think this is kind of where my vertigo is going to kick in. And it's just started raining. As it's the end of the season and winter's approaching, all the locals are bringing their animals down off the mountains. You've really got to be careful around these bends. Dale took the inside line because there was a truck coming around this bend and kind of came off worse for wearing a pile of wood, but no harm done. This is the cliffhanger trail. This is what we've flown halfway around the world to ride. So we're here with Dale and Bilal on the uh, Killar Trail and you look there and you're like, yeah, that's not so bad. But then when you pan around, it's just this cliff that we rode along and uh, it goes on for quite a way. So uh, it's a little bit sketchy, but we're gonna uh, keep pushing on, try and get to our hotel before dark. You've got to be so focused on the trail, not only is there a sheer drop off on the right hand side, but the road surface just constantly changes from rocks, slimy mud, then you'll hit sand, then there'll be a water crossing with some pebbles. You've just got to stay focused. As we come around the corner, we see Dale's on the ground. I have no idea how this has happened, but his bike's got the front wheel over the edge and he's just on the ground. This is a real wake up call. Well this trail's got it all, slimy mud now, so it's my turn to have a little spill just to get it out of my system. After a good night's sleep in Killer, we get up early and head out of town. So last night we came in on the road to Killar. We had a few spills and thrills on the way and it got a bit dark when we were coming in, which was a bit sketchy. Uh, this morning we're heading to Tandy. This road isn't supposed to be quite as scary, but there's still sheer drop-offs on both sides. Beautiful day and uh, we're going to do lots of off-road. Although we're not on the cliffhanger trail, you've still got to be really careful. The drop off on the right hand side is something else, but the scenery is epic.
halfway along our trail, halfway up into the Himalayas, the road uh, has been cut off, there's a bit of a landslide. Not sure if we're going to be able to get through or whether we're going to have to turn back. And if we turn back, not sure how we're going to get back round to Delhi. But uh, I'm sure there's a plan afoot. And so here's 18. That should for sure take us over the top. Down to January. After checking out the map, our only real option is just to head back to Killer along the trail that we've just ridden. The only issue is we've got a five hour ride and only two and a half hours of daylight. At dinner that night, we meet some other riders and talk about our trail options. All right, yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> so it's quite easy to get. Are you drinking a beer there? Not many roads, are they? Yeah. What kind of beer is it? It's uh, the Godfather. Oh, Godfather. The Godfather. Is it super strong? Oh, yeah. It says the bomb. High power beer. High power. Here's Bilal looking at the map, yeah. trying to figure out where Cheers. we're going tomorrow. Trying to find some more sketchy roads for us to ride. Okay, it's 6 a.m. Uh, we're packing the bikes up this morning. We're doing an alternative plan B. We're going over the top of a pass, which is going to be awesome. Hopefully, you see lots of snow. Well, this is plan B. This is Sack Pass, and I'm really pretty excited about this. This wasn't in the original plan, and it's going way higher than we'd ever anticipated. And to top it all off, Bilal, our guide, has never been this way before. But at least we know, or we've been told, it's open. We're at Sack Pass. This is the Himalayas. It's just incredible. We're above the tree line in the snow. We're going to be heading up on this trail, up the ridge and over the top. Well, this is it. This is the summit. 4,500 metres, top of Sack Pass. It's just incredible. This is a big tick on my bucket list. We're going to be riding the ridgeline for about the next four and a half K on the sunny side of the mountain before we start to descend. As we descend off the mountain, we hit our final checkpoint. So that's it, uh, we've come to the end of the trip, we're heading back down to Delhi today. I came into this with no expectations, um, having not really had much to do with the organisation. This was just the most incredible adventure, and I mean adventure in the true sense in the fact that so many things, unexpected things happened, it was just incredible, what can I say? Well what I can say is our next adventure is just about to start. This traffic getting into Delhi is just insane. The closer we get to Delhi, the crazier the traffic gets. It's really stop-start. One minute you're stationary, the next minute you're doing 80. You just can't make this stuff up. We're going down the freeway back towards Delhi. The traffic is just incredible with cars in any lane going which way they want. We're riding along, doing about 80 kilometers an hour to 100 kilometers an hour. Simon's back tire goes out for the second time. So the back end swishing all over the place and he managed to pull up without coming off, thank God, only to find we've walked or ridden into a tire truck stop with a tire repair shop, which is just unbelievable. But it was a scary moment. Well, we're getting right into the center of Delhi now. So we've just pulled up to try and just get rid of some clothes because the temperature's up to 90 degrees and we're starting to be cooked from the inside out. Thank you. 
it's kind of the midday sun. We've been riding through Delhi. The traffic is just, well, it's gridlocked. And uh, basically, we've just got a heat stroke. Now. We've just pulled over, parked the bikes up, and just found a bit of shade. These guys are giving us some water. I was ready to pass out. And uh, we sat here for about 15 minutes. My heart rate is still banging away. Just gotta calm everything down, sit here for a while, and wait for the traffic to die down. This is brutal. We're finally back on the bikes and feeling a bit better, and Bilal's taking us on a magic mystery tour through the back streets of Old Delhi. All we want to do is just see the inside of a hotel. Okay, it's the end of our trip. We've reached Delhi. It has been brutal on this last hour. So we're kind of uh, over the trip now and we're ready to take a shower. So it's been great though. <laughs>